Okay, so I'm uh, gonna make haste going down down the mountain all the way down to Sinua or uh, Chomrong which uh, normally would take uh, like three days up but we'll be done in in a couple of hours going down and then tomorrow I'll start on the Mardi Himal trail which ends with a great view of this mountain well I've been doubling down all the way from uh, the base camp uh, and I was hoping I could reach uh, Chomrong or Sinua However, I only made it to Buddha guest house. It was about to get dark. I'm now outside uh, Gino Dinda on my way to the Mardi Himal trail. And this is probably the biggest hanging bridge I've seen so far. Actually looks a bit daunting. <laughs> Better tie down every loose thing. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. The way to Landruk has been rerouted due to a landslide, so I have to go through this uh, very tiny, tiny road here. I think uh, way in the distance there I got Landruk, so it's quite the walk still, and it's uh, getting to be around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I hope it's not more than a a three-hour walk to get there. It's actually quite the tricky part this. Almost got lost. The kind gentleman in front of me held me to the right place. Uh, it's tiny overgrown paths here. All right now we're talking bridge here. This is uh, antique stuff. Looks a bit rusty. Instead of metal we got wood. A little bit more rickety this bridge than the previous one, made of wood and all. Yeah, made it to Landruk. It's a tiny place on the hills. Uh, I'm quite wasted today. It's been a uh, a 10 hour walk, so maybe uh, overextended a bit there. Right, good morning. So I finished the ABC yesterday, I would say, coming up to Landruk and uh, sleeping at the Maya hostel here. And today, officially, I would say beginning the Mardi Himal trail. So I'm starting the ascent now to Mardi Himal, leaving Landruk. It's going to be great. Lots of steps, I'm sure. But I'm really excited for this. It's going to be fantastic. Still going up. Not too hard, actually. The trick is to just take it really slow, one step at a time. Just feel, feel the heartbeat. If it starts pumping too hard, you slow down even more and uh, you'll be fine. Yeah, it's uh, got some fog rolling in and it's pretty cool. Way over there we got Gandruk where I pretty much uh, started the trek. It was a lovely place. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Oi. Yeah, it's starting to kick in now, the steps. It's getting very, very steep. And I still have two thirds to go. So, I'm glad to get these steps over. I think it's the worst part. So, going up this way, and it's a steep. Landruk from above. This last part getting up is actually proper, proper tough. It's like, uh, yeah, it's proper trekking now. Roots, really steep. I think I might have uh, one hour until I get to forest camp where I can get a tea, a little bit of rest. Maybe even have a spaghetti because it's close to lunch now. Wouldn't that be epic? Okay, I'm looking back at uh, where I started a week ago. 
Uh, the town there should be uh, Gandruk. And to the left there we have uh, Kimche and Kliov where I slept my first night. And the big mountain in the background there is uh, Poon Hill. I can see the end. I'm pretty sure that it's up there. It's the end of this crazy mountain climb and uh, I'll start the Mardi Himal trail uh, proper. So just a few more meters now until I reach uh, the forest camp. whoop de doo Can't believe I made it to the top of the, uh, to the forest camp. Gonna have some spaghetti now and that's gonna be absolutely amazing. Have a little bit of rest and enjoy this, this view. And some pretty cool trees around here. Be nice to come back when the fog is rolling in or something. Well, I still have a, a thousand meters to climb today, so uh, it's not the end of the stairs, but uh, they're in better condition than before. So hopefully it's going to be a lot easier. Yep, the stairs are still continuing. Okay, so I'm walking up to low camp today where I was staying. High camp is just a little bit too far away and it's getting dark and then I mean spooky forest. It's uh, the next morning and it's still raining. So this started uh, yesterday, yesterday night. And this is the epic rain that people have been warning about that should last for three days. So uh, yeah, looks like I'm stuck for a bit. It's no surprise that it's muddy and flooded here, but it's not too bad. Once you get the right clothes, I suppose you can make a go of it. The only huge drawback is that there won't be a view when I come up to the top. I suppose this would normally be one epic view, but since the weather is what it is, it's just misty. Okay, that seems to be a cross between a horse, a goat and an oxen. Uh, looking back to where I came from, pretty sure this is uh, Absolutely stunning view in normal cases. It's a shame I'm missing it, so uh, I'm going up this way. Almost there, I think. Almost there. Still looks pretty cool, even though it's all rained away. Turns out it's uh, another of these false, uh, false summits. Doesn't buy that hotel. And I'm now going to continue to the real high camp, which is another half an hour in that direction. It's pretty much a waterfall around here. I'm pretty soaked, I have to admit. I think I'm sure going to be now like five minutes away from the high camp now. So that's a good thing. Uh, it's tough, really tough. <sighs> Finally made it. Put the high camp up there. Jesus. That, this is the hardest. I had it in uh, quite some time. <laughs> Well, I have to say this is probably the simplest of the tea rooms I have. It's one hell of a place to be reined in on. Probably have to stay here tomorrow as well. Oh well. Yeah, so this whole night there's 
there was uh, intense thunderstorms uh, right on top of our heads and uh, it felt a bit dodgy so better watch out and uh, it's been reported of landslides all over the country so uh, it's not too safe to go climbing a big mountain well that's it for this time i think it's uh, it's pretty much over so this uh, rainstorm that's come in it's gonna last for another couple of days nobody's sure really how, how long but at least two more days so it's better to just try to head down and get a jeep into Pokhara so that's what I'm gonna try to do I decided to uh, go for it there's a tiny break in the weather where it's just like a drizzle and I'm gonna see how far I can get before it becomes too too horrible it's uh, looking back at uh, high camp Got a really nice view here going on. Somewhere over there, got an Apernas, fishtail in the mist, and more misty mountains. This would be the famous tea house on top of the top of the mountain. It's kind of cozy. Made it up to the lower viewpoint. Up there we got the upper viewpoint. Seems like they're serving tea up there as well. This would be the high viewpoint. It's turning into a proper ridge walk this it's kind of steep on both sides that's pretty cool but well, I'm heading up to what's called the upper viewpoint which is right up there yeah I made it to the upper viewpoint and I think this will be the place where I call it quits uh, that ridge walk up is a bit dodgy uh, so if the weather turns it could be quite hard getting down in that direction there get the Annapurna I'm on my way down and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool actually but uh, hello hello namaste I'm going to be a little bit relieved to get back to civilization I'm now leaving uh, low, camp, uh, low camp behind and so all the mountains and I'm going down to Sid Hing which is the closest place from here where you can catch a, uh, uh, a jeep that will take me to Pokhara so the jeep is supposed to take around three hours to get in there and hopefully it actually leaves from there because uh, the roads might be flooded so we see what kind of a day I'm in for. The, the trail is getting rougher and rougher. Just been through a, quite a tricky patch uh, with lots of mud and stuff. And I really do hope I'm on the right, right path. It's always scary when uh, the GPS shows wrong. So, uh, but I got trail markers here, so I think, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I think I'm on the right way. 
out of the woods and back to what looks like civilization. So I've got some houses, got a nice valley in front of me, which I would assume is uh, the sitting place down there somewhere. Turns out the, the rain has destroyed the roads, so the jeeps are not going. So I have to walk another two hours to the closest town, which is in Lumle, and take a bus from there. It's gonna be great. At least it's not raining at the moment. Somehow I have to pass you by. Can it be done? If I'm very careful, turn around. Uh, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks. Finally, it was a bit tricky to find this bridge going over. Going over the river here. So I think might be a jeep trail there but it can't go at this point because it's a bit uh, watery oh yeah this is a wide open bridge it's just fantastic just fantastic Of hours later I'm back in uh, civilization and uh, yeah took me three hours to get here maybe that's the bus I'm not sure I'll have to walk a bit further this is Lumre and that's it finally moving <laughs> 